sawdust in my beard. I've been cutting some uh, trees up today to length or bucking some logs. I guess is the proper term for it. Sawdust all over me there. I think I got it all out of my beard. Somebody mentioned there in my last video that uh, it's time for a beard trim. I had just got my beard trim like two days before that video and my haircut also. Anyways guys, the trees that I was bucking today, I'll get to in just a minute. Actually, at the end of the video, I'll show some footage of that, and that's what we're going to be doing tomorrow using this new tool I'm getting ready to do the unboxing of. I got a really good tool here at the sawmill a few weeks ago. I actually done a video that day kind of showing the UPS guy dropping it off. So if you run a sawmill business and harvest your own timber, or if you're just a small-scale tree service or a logger, I think this tool is going to be something that probably help you out a lot. I've been looking at this tool for a few years, and I finally acquired one this year. I'm really looking forward to putting it to use. Tomorrow, I got some cherry and some poplar to go harvest, and we're going to be using this uh, tool here to get those up. And also using the ATV arch as well with the four-wheeler. This just isn't like one main tool we're going to be looking at. There's a lot of accessories that came with it. And uh, the maker of this product, I'm going to leave a link down below to their website if you want to check them out and read a lot more about the specifications, a lot more about this tool that I'm going to talk about today. And I'm really just going to show the tools and a lot of the accessories. And uh, I think the best way to show what this tool will do is going to be in real life scenarios when we're going to be putting it to work out here in the forest and tomorrow. So what I got is the forestry kit. It comes with the main tool and a lot of accessories used for general forestry work. So the name pretty much says it all. Let's take a look at this tool and all the accessories. Well, first, let's open up this smaller box here before we do the larger one. bag to put all the rope in that goes with the winch. Polyester sling that attaches to your anchor point that then attaches to the winch. A snatch block. Steel carabine. Another steel carabine. A choker chain. A grab hook. You also get a skidding cone with the forestry package here. And some double braided polyester rope. Now this rope is a whole lot safer than a steel cable. When you're using a steel cable, if it ever was to break, it can fly back and kill you. Or at least take a limb off. And this right here, this rope, there's no energy stored in it. So if it ever does break, it just falls to the ground. There's no energy stored in the rope. Now let's get on to the main tool here. And then this box should be the actual winch itself. Now this is the same thing that came in the kit. I believe I read on their website they shift one of these with all of their winches. And this is just another one of the slings that you use to attach to an anchor point that attaches to the actual winch. Let's get another box here and take a closer look. Guys, here it is. This is the tool that I showed a few weeks ago that the UPS guy was dropping off. And this is the portable winch. I'll tell you, this thing feels like it's built like a tank. Of course, I know it's got to be built very well to do the job it's going to perform for us here. We're just going to be pulling timber out of the forest and pulling the fetching arch up steep slopes. Got a lot of stuff in store for this winch. I've been needing a winch for a long time. So the power source here on the winch is a Honda engine. Don't get much better than that. And behind it here on the back, I've watched a lot of videos of people using this thing and studied it a lot. And uh, this is a drum which you'll wrap the rope around about two or three times. When you put a little pressure here on the drum, that's when the winch will kick in and start pulling the object to you that you're trying to winch up. And you've got your hooks here on the side that go to your anchor point that you hooked on that sling that we showed you a few minutes ago. But I still can't remember my dream. All right, guys, I'm excited here. I know I don't always look excited on this channel, and some people have actually commented that I don't smile enough, but I'm pretty excited about this. I've been wanting this winch for a long time. It's really going to help out here at the sawmill. It's going to make me a lot faster when I go out and get these logs. Now I finally have a winch, I can pull them up on the trailer. In the past, people have asked me why I don't have a little battery-powered winch for the trailer, and the reason being 
you can't take that battery powered winch out in the woods. This, this winch here, you can take out wherever you want to, as long as there's a good anchor point for it. No battery needed, just runs on gas. So really the concept of it's pretty neat, I think. You can take your winch anywhere you want to go. Now this winch is made by the Portable Winch Company up in Canada. And I think they just celebrated their 15th anniversary when they started making these things. I think they started making them 15 years ago. They've been around 15 years. I'm assuming they made the winches the whole time. This isn't some brand new product that just came out. They've been around for a while. Now I got some of the specifications here in case you guys are interested in what kind of weight it will pull. Now this is the PCW 5000. They got a few different models they make, but I think out of the portable ones, this is the biggest one they make as far as the amount of weight it will pull. Now we've already seen the engine on it. That's a Honda engine. The displacement I think is 50 cc's and it's a four stroke engine. Now the pulling force for this winch is 2200 pounds. That's a straight line pull. That's hooking something from the winch straight to the object. No snatch blocks or nothing like that. Just a straight line pull, 2200 pounds. But you guys know like I do, if you use some snatch blocks, you can double that easily. As far as the weight of this winch, which is important because you're gonna be taking that out deep in the woods sometimes, I'm gonna to try to hook it to the four-wheeler as much as I can just to get it to where I need it to go. But it weighs 35 pounds, which isn't too bad because if you think about taking a regular winch out in the woods and a battery, it's gonna be a lot heavier than 35 pounds and a lot more cumbersome to carry around. So I think this winch really wins in that category as well. And for you gearheads out there that are wondering, it's got a gear ratio of 110 to 1. Because that's about all the information that matters to me and probably matters to you as well. That's the big high points there. Portable Winch mates these up in Canada. Link down below to their website if you want to check them out. And also, stay tuned here on the video. Give you guys a little preview of what I've done today as far as bucking the logs that we'll be harvesting tomorrow with the ATV arch and this winch. So anyways guys, the rain has finally ended. So we're going to get some work done this year. I was wondering what this month was going to turn into. I was, going, I was about to take a hostage. It was getting ridiculous here with the rain. I mean, I was just sick of it. Goodness sakes alive. It was just every day, you get an inch every day. Every day we got almost an inch of rain. It was ridiculous. The water, you know, the ground is still like a swamp. It's awful. But anyways, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and leave me a comment below if you got any questions about it. And if you're not subscribed yet, I don't know what in the world you're waiting on, go ahead and do that as well. And we'll see you guys tomorrow when we put this winch to use. And the ATV arch on top of that. So using the four-wheeler tomorrow and this winch.